stabilizing emitter thing. Um, yeah. So, uh, we are on the hunt for um, ya boy, Mr. Photography Man. Um, who appears to be probably up there. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna see if we can find him. Because he's a bad dude and needs to be put down. I cannot get over this way. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, so yeah. We just spoke to Kidman and she reassured us that she's definitely not an evil piece of shit. Um, which I definitely, absolutely, 100% believe. Um, you know, I mean, because I know if I had convictions about, you know, children being made a part of some awful uh, fucking Matrix-style slash Inception-style experiment of linking people's psyches and stuff, I would totally falter um, and just surrender to it, you know. Um, that's definitely how that would work. Um, so, yeah. Does mean I can hold two med kits? Because that would be super cool. Four medical syringes. Okay. That's actually really nice. I think that's the whole area, basically. Because, yeah, that breaks off, doesn't it? Yep. Okie dokie. Well, let's go back to the marrow. And we will make our way toward the theater. Coffee I didn't need. Perfect. Can I get my last damage upgrade for my pistol now? Because I would very much like the last damage upgrade for my pistol. Shit. <laughs> we'll get there eventually, but shit. Um, poo poos. Go ahead and make another one of them bad boys. Okay. Um, maybe we can get ourselves an upgrade. Uh, and use our other key. I mean, maybe it's like that. I don't know. Um, hey, look there. Thanks. There's nothing wrong with being cautious. You know, why don't you not fucking tell me? Maybe you should think about shutting the fuck up. Um, 
Keith Max. That's really what I need to go for. Okay. Sure. Toddy, you got anything new to say? Now you fully understand your confidence. He is powerful. Yeah. He's also a sick preacher. That too? But he is as driven as you are. And seeking the same thing. Escape from this? She's necessarily a hundred percent correct, but she's not exactly a hundred percent wrong either. Wait a minute, didn't um, what's her name? Um, uh, Portman say she would leave some shit in my room. This is my room after all. Did you leave anything in here, Portman? Oh my god, you guys can't see it, but my eye is twitching madly right now. Okay, well, I don't know if Portman left anything in here for me. Right. Back into the marrow. D5. signals yet immediately This must be the passage O'Neill was talking about. Yeah. Billy? Oh, this place is messing with my mind. Okay, Govins. Love me some Govins. Gunpowder. Fantastic. Oh my god. Why is my aim such an atrocity? I guess maybe I should have made more ammo. Uh, whoops.
more weapon parts, fantastic. We're trying to get up to like, what, 800 for the final pistol upgrade? Because let's face it, I mean, don't get me wrong, the shotgun has its uses, the SR, I'm sure, also has its uses. Handgun is just where it's at. Fuck you. Fuck off. That was unfortunate. That was a big waste of ammo too. Oof, I gotta get better at that whole aiming situation. Uh, I guess, I mean, I probably could have taken numerous ammo upgrades at this point. Or ammo, uh, accuracy upgrades at this point. But, you know. I didn't feel like it. So, you know. I figured I would just, um, I don't know, I guess fuck myself instead. <laughs> um, Like, uh, TV's turning on. Stop it, listen to yourself, Myra. A secret society abducted Billy and staged her death. Do you realize how crazy that sounds? But it's true. Why can't you understand that? I know it's hard to accept. She's gone. Our little girl is gone. But I have proof! Fuck. Myra, you're obsessed. You need rest. Once you get past this, you'll learn to accept. No. I'll never accept it. If you won't help me, I'll find out the truth on my own. She was. Yes, she was. Why am I seeing this now? I just want to take a little peek over here. There's probably no reason for it, but you know, there could have been loot. That's pleasant. Um, great. Where the fuck are we on this map? Up there. B2. Isn't that far, but of course it's through the room where that thing just was. Because why would it be anywhere else?
My man, would you like a towel? Sure. I don't think this is gonna be too terrible. I love the sound. It's very uh like Last of Us fucking clicker. Okay. Well, thanks for making a path. See, the thing is, I gotta get the hell out of here. The thing definitely knew I was in that room because I opened the door. You also have to think. Oh, this is gonna be bad. You also have to think. How aware is this thing? Oh, look at that! A Vault Tech bobblehead. You feel like you've seen this before, but you can't quite put your finger on when or where that was. But at any rate, it looks pretty cool, so you decide to keep it in your room. Um, yeah, I mean, how do we know it's not luring us forward? And how do we know that it doesn't feel through the goop? You know, if it feels through this white stuff as I'm walking through it, then surely it knows I'm back here. Right... We had a Chekhov's gun there. Time to go. Oh. Ooh, Chekhov's gun. Thank you for not consuming my ammo. Right. So there's a nature preserve somewhere. Marrow. Exit Delta 5. We're looking for B2. 72. That's sealed. Can't go that way. So, I guess. D. 5. Looks like some of It's enjoying the show. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, worth a shot. Oh, loot. 
Uh, report 532, Displacement Protocols, Emergency Core Displacement Protocol. It is imperative that a missing core be replaced as soon as possible. A core that's been missing for even a few hours can affect STEM programming. If the core is missing for over 36 hours, emergency protocols must be instituted in order to prevent the core from escaping. Emergency protocols are only accessible for Mobius operatives with Alpha security clearance and can only be viewed on the Marrow servers. So, that implies that Lily is probably not the only candidate they have here. It doesn't necessarily mean that every candidate that's here is a child, but I suppose if they're going with the common sort of idea that uh, children are more open and susceptible to this kind of thing, then Maybe. Someone's been watching. Lily. Who has been here was gathering data on her. Don't move. You're Mobius, right? I... Shut up! Don't say a word! You're not one of us. No, I'm not. Kidman sent me. Look, I'm here to help, okay? My name is Sebastian Castellanos. You're lying. Sebastian Castellanos is dead. What? No. Who told you that? Turn around. Do it slow. You're Yukiko Hoffman. How do you know my name? I told you. They sent me in here to find my daughter, Lily. The core. I'm telling you the truth. I know. I think... I think Yukio was, uh, Yukiko Back was... Expressions and was, like, uh, counterintelligence, maybe, or something I've like that? that. Whatever tools I have to survive. Combat isn't my forte. Seems to be a running theme here. Sorry for putting my gun at you. Yeah, okay. So they're sending independent contractors now? That means things aren't improving. Have you found any other team members? I have, but the only one I found alive is on you. place is still falling apart, and I think it's all because of this cycle that kidnapped Lily. He's running loose in you now. He can manipulate this place at will. That means my theory is correct. This is more than a core disconnect. We doctors don't like to use the term psycho in pejorative terms. But in this case, it's apropos. Only a clinically diagnosed psychopath could affect STEM like this. A psychopathic personality type using Lily amplifies power. This is the worst possible situation. Perfect. You're a shriek. Any suggestions on how to defeat them? Psychopaths are antisocial, lack empathy, and exhibit sadistic tendencies. But their main commonality is a pathologic egocentrism. They don't care about people, only themselves. Can you think of anything that would be important to them? Yeah. He thinks he's some sort of artist. That's all he talks about. Then maybe the best way to attack him would be through his art. Destroying something valuable to him could knock him off his guard. I'll keep that in mind. But I've got to get to him first. He's holding himself up in the theater. Right. So exit D5 then. It's right here. Just in the next room. Perfect. Let's pair up communicators so that we can stay in touch. Thanks, you. I'll review my files and see if I can't dig up any more information about what's going on. I still feel like there's more to this. Regardless, he's probably going to be difficult to fight. Yeah, no shit. Feel free to help yourself to anything that you might need. So 
So does Lily really think I'm dead? Or was that just a part of your lie detecting test? Sorry to break it to you. But she does. I thought it was the truth, too. Until just now. But over the years, I've learned to take everything Mobius tells me with a pinch of salt. No shit. It wasn't difficult to see you were telling the truth. Why would they do that? What kind of monsters do you work for? I know it's not right. But consider this. Lily is probably less traumatized by thinking you're dead than by thinking you're alive, which can't be with you. Yeah. Maybe. But what will happen when I finally find her? Don't worry. She'll believe the evidence in her eyes once she sees you. If Mobius knew to keep psychopaths out of STEM, then how did one end up in here? I don't know. Every individual in STEM was subjected to a battery of psychological exams prior to placement. And we've been observing them from here, in secret, to keep an eye out for mental instability. Yeah, you've done a great yeah. job. Well, that didn't work. Unfortunately, psychopathy and sociopathy are incredibly difficult to diagnose correctly. Psychopaths tend to be cunning, highly intelligent, aware of their own diagnosis, they're able to disguise themselves among us. The fact that this one was able to fool us is obviously a joy in self-aware. Disturbingly so. Great. So the tests only filtered out the weakest of psychos. I feel terribly responsible for all of this. I helped devise those tests. Huh. You said you think there's something more to this? I studied the Beacon incident extensively so that we could avoid another disaster like that. In that case, the person in question was the core. But even then, the environment remained relatively intact. Something just doesn't seem right here. What do you mean? The creatures in here. The dissolution of the Union. The total breakdown of communication with Mobius. It just seems like a lot for one person. Even a whiff of the power of the core. You mentioned someone before. Another person who wanted the core's power. Too horrible to contemplate. What? There's only one thing that could be more powerful than a psychopath than you. But I need to do some research before I can commit to the theory. Hmm. I'm just saying. Leslie never died. And they're talking about how psychopaths can blend in and fool people. Email court candidates to all concerned from Operative Grisham. Uh, Lily Castellanos, initial findings. The ideal court candidate must have an unfettered ego in order to retain their own personality while supporting the interlinked minds of many others. Given these parameters, there are only two possible candidate types. Egomaniacs with psychopathic tendencies or children. We all know how that happened the last time an egomaniac with psychopathic Pathic tendencies within STEM, so a child is our best bet. Having access to standardized school tests, we were able to narrow down our options. We feel that we found the ideal core candidate in Lily Castellanos. Her tests show that she not only has a guileless ego, but she also exhibits incredibly advanced empathy for a child her age. We are sending her to Dr. Hoffman for further testing. So... It seems like our boy, the Arteus, uh, whoops, might be a core candidate. Uh, which is not fucking good. Um, so, great. Let's go to the post office.
first time I saw Myra, she was wearing that uniform. I think I fell in love with her right then and there. I didn't want to admit it to myself. But after she was injured on duty, I knew I couldn't risk not telling her how I felt. Okay. She was such a great wife and mother that I sometimes forget she was a great detective, too. She was right. She knew there was something fishy about Lily's death. I mean, kidnapping. I should have believed her from the start. There's nothing wrong with being cautious, but you can't avoid fighting forever. Maybe you should think about adding some combat skills. Um. Oh my god, thank you. Shit, we can't afford that either. <clears throat> well, let's make some ammo. 